Okay, I thought I'd uh, show you something here. I have uh, the uh, supercell, and uh, what I've done is I've actually, even though you can still see a ring of light here, what I've done is I've blocked off all the LEDs except for two that are 90 degrees relative to one another. Since the conjugate field geometry of the universe is the magnetic and the dielectric, which are the negative images of one another, the uh, geometry, of course, of the magnetic is toroidal, and the geometry of the dielectric is a hyperboloid, or an hourglass shape. I thought by using two singular LEDs relative to one another, that I'd actually be able to give a, a better, clear view of the uh, cross-sectional nature of the magnetic and the dielectric, and it should show up two things, very abundantly clear. It should uh, show the uh, plane of inertia extremely uh, explicitly, which is along the quote-unquote midpoint of the magnet where no magnetism exists, literally the inverse of polarity. And it should also show what looks like uh, uh, like comet orbitals, like if the sun were here, the uh, orbital, the elliptical of a comet and actually give you two distinct vectors from each of these LEDs, this one here and this one here. Um, as the uh, magnetic uh, constructive and destructive interference, of course, where we actually see light along the elliptical of the light that will be seen would be the magnetic. So we should be able to see that. So actually, let's take a, a tiny cylinder magnet right under there. And let's see if uh, that's what we get. And sure enough, it is. Let me zoom in here and do a little focusing. You can actually see it. Trying to block off this light just a little bit so you can see that. There you go. And of course I have uh, the elliptical of uh, the one LED and the other visible right there. So there's this LED elliptical. Um, it's not actually orbiting anything, but as a uh, very simplex analogy, we use the tip of this uh, brush right here. We actually have this one LED over here and this other LED here. The manifestation, uh, it's uh, acting like an elliptical around uh, the one quote unquote pole of the magnet here. Focus, there we go. I wish you could actually see this in person, the actual dimensionality of it all is, is quite beautiful so far as the uh, holographic depth. There we go. Actually this elliptical right around the, the uh, point of a centripetal convergence and also to this second LED over here. What I'm going to use is a much more powerful magnet and we should get a very very neat display of uh, the plane of inertia because I'm using two LEDs at 90 degrees relative to one another. And this is a N55 Gauss, three quarter inch neodymium cylinder. And first let's actually place it here before we do that. Okay, not extremely exciting. Let's uh, place it underneath and then we'll show you the plane of inertia. There we go. A lot more star, this magnet is really powerful. Okay, here's this elliptical from the one LED and the other elliptical from the other LED. But now let's place it on top, edge on, and we should get a really stark view of the plane of inertia because of the two LED setups that we have here. The magnet wants to spin because it actually wants to align itself. Now look at that. That is extremely stark. Now this is worthy of a screen capture. And here we actually have a holographic view of what I mean to be a simplex view, not two-dimensional, of two different field geometries. One, you see these two rings here from this LED, this is the magnetic. And this is the dielectric. Of course, the dielectric is also on either quote-unquote pole, but also, too, 
right at the center here. You see this? Also to see also as it as it uh, as it uh, wags over here, right at the periphery, as I actually move it a little bit, you'll notice there'll be a lag. You see that as I actually, okay. Of course I can't keep it in one spot, it wants to turn relative to the Earth's uh, magnetosphere, but that is what we call Stark. Right at the dead center midpoint. This, folks, is the plane of inertia. Right there. And here you can see if I zoom in and focus. There we go. It's elliptical, and the other elliptical is a bit hidden over there, but if I actually bring it out here and then go top down, you'll see the two ellipticals and the plane of inertia on either side of the magnet. This elliptical from that LED and that elliptical from that LED. See, I can't keep it in place. It wants to turn to the Earth's magnetosphere. There we go. Trying to actually block this light out a little bit so it doesn't jump into the camera so starkly. That's about as obvious as it gets. There's the conjugate geometry of the universe, the magnetic and the dielectric and the plane of inertia of this magnet. I don't know if you found this video too boring but uh, there's not another video out there that uses uh, two LEDs 90 degrees relative to one another to show this in more simplex terms, but there it is. A first is a first, even if it is boring. Thanks so much for watching.